What's up everybody? I got a special robot for you today. This is the Samsung PowerBot Stormtrooper Edition. This has been out for a couple of years and I really didn't plan on buying it. Then I came across a deal at, at a Home Depot and this is only 199 bucks. So I had to try it. I mean, for $200 and to try out a new Samsung. Robot vacuum, which I've never tried a Samsung. I said, why not? Let's try it. Um, unfortunately, they are sold out. They sold out right away. And uh, I don't know. Start off with the box. Probably the coolest looking box. I'm not even a huge uh, Star Wars fan. But I do like, you know, Stormtrooper stuff. I think it's probably the, the cooler character in the film. But uh, so a nice big box. Stormtrooper edition, model VR7000. And in the back. So we'll see about this. 20 times more powerful suction than most other robots. I don't know about that. That's a big claim. This thing does have a camera built in, so it does have its own mapping. And it says it's really good at edge cleaning and getting the corners. That's a big thing that a lot of robot vacuums miss is the corners and being that this is a flat design, it might actually do a really good job at that. So like I said, this is my first Samsung. I'm actually a little bit excited to get into this one. I think it's an awesome looking design. And for 200 bucks, I, I just couldn't really pass it up. All right, let's crack this open. Everything about this screen is special edition. Obviously, Star Wars right as you open it. That might be some of the best. I don't know. What do you guys think about the packaging? That's really quite quite good. Usually you got hard hard plastics and stuff holding in place, but this is a lot of bubble wrap, basically. Alright, so here you start off with the power cord. Big power cord, but it's got really, really a long length. You could plug this in a lot of different areas in your house. So that's good. All right, now let's move on to the main thing, the actual bot. Oh, actually, we'll do that last after I get everything else in. So here's a big, big manual. Really big manual. Usually you get a little folded piece of paper. So, and of course the dock. Quite a big dock. Which is perfectly fine. As long as it works good. It says power bot on the front. And then it does have the uh, cord wrap design on the back. So that's cool. It's got good grip for the floor. So it ain't gonna slide around much. And that's it, that is all that's in the box. Power cord, base station, and robot. All right, got everything out of the box. Let's check out the main event. Not that. All right, I guess this is my first Samsung robot ever. Very nicely packaged. And 
And to me, that is just freaking, that's cool looking. Very unique. There's a big camera right back here. Uh, well, you can see it. it's kind of at the bottom there behind that glass. Very cool looking, I must say. That is, I gotta say, this is the coolest looking robot vacuum you can buy, probably. Like I said, I'm not even a huge Star Wars fan or nothing, but that's awesome. All right, so basically, looks like this is the dust bin. Just push that, it pops up. Then there's two little pieces here you push in and pull out. So it's a really good size dustbin. That's pretty big. And I kind of like the design actually where you just open it up like this and you can just dump it right out rather than have some flap that's going to make a big mess. And here's some sort of, I don't really know the details of all the Samsung products, so not sure exactly what this design is. It doesn't look like it's an actual fan that moves or anything like that. I'm sure it spins when there's suction, but I'm not sure what that is. Probably not a big deal. All right, pop that back in. Let's check out the underneath of this guy. There's a, oh, after, before we do that, there's a bumper bar there and a bumper bar up front. All right, let's flip this over. So one thing that's cool about this one and why I think it might do a really good job cleaning is look how wide that brush is. This is very similar to the uh, Roomba S9 Plus as far as the wide brush. This is the only second robot I've seen personally with this wide of a brush. We'll have to see how it does in the corners and then the baseboards. As you can see, there's about a half an inch to an inch where there's not really any brush stroking in the floor so if this has strong suction, then of course it's gonna be able to suck it up, but we'll have to do it with some tests and see how it works. You unlock that, this pops out. You can see, that's a big, big brush. Simple to replace, let's pop it in. And these lock back in place. So pretty cool, I must say. Let's turn it on and see if there's any power at all. And this thing's supposed to make Star Wars noises and talk to you kinda. So it should be pretty cool to see. It's probably completely dead. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fully charge this before we can hear it, and of course, before I do test. So that's just the unboxing. Uh, do me a favor, like and subscribe, and I'm gonna do quite a few tests with this. I'm gonna put this up against the i7 Plus by Roomba, uh, my new ProScenic M7 Pro. I do still have that Shark IQ, which if, before I get rid of that, if you guys want any more tests with that, please throw something down in the comments, because it's gonna go soon. And then um, I still have the Roomba E5 and then the Roborock S5. So I got quite a few vacuums still. Let me know if you want to see anything about that. If you're interested in any of those, please check out my previous videos. I have hundreds of videos about robot vacuums. So if you're into that, I think you'd like quite a few of my different videos. And next up, I'm going to do a bunch of tests with this, see how it does. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. See ya.